Hi, Dom here and welcome back to this new video and today it's all about virtualization and hypervisor stuff. So we're going to install Proxmox so that you can make some virtual machines on your own and have some fun with virtualization technology. So I will show you in easy steps how you can set up Proxmox on a hardware machine and how you can run your first virtual machine in easy steps. But first, what is Proxmox? Proxmox is a hypervisor software. It allows you to run virtual machines on a hardware and it's all open source and free to use. Also, Proxmox is perfect if you want to set up your own home lab and have some virtual machines like, for example, Nextcloud to host your own cloud solution or any other stuff like a DNS blocker like Pihole or stuff like this. First, let me show you my hardware. It's an old PC I uh, yeah, found in my basement. It has not a lot of power. I think I have an i5 processor in there and a few gigs of RAM and an SSD for hard disk storage. And this is all you need to begin with. The only thing I add to this hardware is this four port Intel gigabit network adapter so that I can separate some network stuff and order one specific port to one virtual mesh but it's not necessary. The included port in your computer is enough for the beginning. Before you can install your hardware, you need definitely one last thing. It's of course a USB stick. So I will show you how you can download your software and make a bootable USB stick to install Proxmox. First, let's go on the Proxmox site. Here it is, or you can press here, download. And of course, we want this virtual environment software. We want an ISO image. And we want the latest version. In this case, it's 7.1.2. Let's download it. And you need a software to make the USB stick. And my favorite is, I show you, Balea Etcher. It's right here. Download it, install it, and we are good to go. Software has been downloaded, and now we can plug in our USB stick. And let's flash this USB stick with Balena Etcher. Just start the program. Push this button here, flash from file. Let's choose Proxmox and select the target volume. In this case, our USB stick. Select it and press flash. Then you have to type in your password from your Mac account in this case. Press OK. And keep in mind that all software or all media which was saved on a USB stick will be erased. And it's finished. We can close Balea. Remove the USB stick and put it in the server to install Proxmox. So put in the USB stick, go to your BIOS because BIOSes are different. So read the manual and then you should know which button you have to press to get into BIOS menu and to boot from other sources like USB sticks. So if you can boot, you see just on a screen like this is the Proxmox boot setup and you want to install Proxmox virtual environment. Just press enter and this is the installer and of course you read the end user license agreement and push this button on the bottom here. I agree. Then you can select a target hard disk. In my case I only have one hard disk so it's okay. Let's skip the options here. The default parameters are okay. Just give here your country and the time zone. This is correct. Press next. And now just enter your password and your email address. Of course, this is not my correct email address here. And now you can delete the network interface where your management port should be. In my case, this is the correct one here. If you have multiple network adapters, you can choose the correct one here. This is the host name from Proxmox. I think this one here is for test purposes okay. Maybe I switch it here for local. 
Enter IP address, gateway and DNS server informations is okay because the DHCP protocol serves this one for my router. So it's perfect fit. I will just leave it for this test with the settings. Press next. You can just check the summary here if everything is okay. Press install and Proxmox will install all necessary files. So here we are, the server will automatically reboot and now it's booted. So check out your IP address here. You see which port the service is running on and this is the address you put into your browser to visit the Proxmox web interface. And this is a warning because the certificate is not an original signed one from an authority. So just in case you want to know, press extend and move on. It's okay because we self signed it. And now you can see the Proxmox virtual environment web interface. And just log in with the username root and the password you set in the installation process. Of course, we have no valid subscription with Proxmox. It's only necessary if you are in an enterprise environment. Of course, we are in our home lab, so it's okay. We can just ignore this message here. And here we are. This is our fully installed Proxmox virtual environment. Now you can make some virtual machines there, add some storage solutions and stuff like this but this is a part for next video. But let me give you a short overview of this interface here. So on your left, you have a data center and P4E is our only node. This is the computer we just installed, our server. If you add more nodes to your data center, you of course see more nodes in this list here. So P4E is our node where we make the most in this web interface for example, create virtual machines and configuration stuff and so on. So here on summary, you see this is our server. We have this specs here. Of course, this is not a real server. This is my Intel NUC and test environment. You see some CPU usage, the load of the server, the memory usage and the network traffic. And you can click down here for other settings like network or firewall related stuff. So this is the end of this video. We just created an USB stick, boot in a BIOS from our USB stick and install Proxmox virtual environment. And we visit the web interface in the browser. And now we can make some virtual machines and more stuff in here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a comment, give me a like, give me a subscription. Tell me what you think about Proxmox. How was your first experience with it? And what do you want to make with virtual machines? I hope I see you in the next video and bye.